Here you go, baby. What? She's got the evil hiccups, you guys. Oh, and she's not I know, but I want to say hello to everybody. It's been one of those crazy, crazy weeks. And tonight, it's Friday night, right? Yeah. But we're going to do Tasty Tuesday anyway. And little baby Aria is doing fantastic, though, because Mama Sarah is just the best mom ever. And I know she would never say that, but I want y'all to know she's Aww. the best mom ever. And one of the hard parts of our job, obviously we make YouTube videos all the time, but one of the hard parts of our job is being a part. And this week, I've been in the Bahamas. So, tonight we're gonna be making like a simple way to coconut crust fresh mahi filet. But I wanna back up to earlier this week and show you what we did all week. All right, you guys, well, this is a part of our life that you very, very rarely see. This is where me and Sarah will not be together. And baby Aria, she's right back there in her car seat. This week, I will be in the Bahamas working on the big boat in Marsh Harbor out of the Abaco Beach Resort, Boat Harbor. This is the part of our life that stinks because I'm not with my family. But, um, but my family's here. Yeah, her family's here and we're just, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do to make ends meet. So I love you, sweetheart. I love you, baby. Mm. Now I gotta pack up. We'll see you in the airport. There's sweet little baby Aria. Aww. Bye, sweetheart. It's my little baby. I love her so much. Have a good week, okay, honey? Bye, baby. All right, you guys, as you can tell, what's your name? Sophia. This is Sophia right here. This is my taxi cab driver. <laughs> we have made it. This is Marsh Harbor. And uh, first thing, I gotta go by the grocery store. Then I gotta go by the bank, pick up some cash. Then we're heading to the marina. But I'll show you guys what Marsh Harbor looks like. Big old pine trees. Looks a lot like Florida, actually. Shout out to all my 242 in the Bahamas. Oh What's my up? God. <laughs> <laughs> what taxi are you? What number? Taxi 47. 242 <laughs> is the area code here in the Bahamas, yes, so. It is. All right, all right, heading to the grocery store. We go. All right, you guys, so I'm back here at the marina on the boat. That's Jeremiah. Jeremiah knocked golf. Where are you from, Jerry? Kona, Hawaii. Say what's up to your boys there. What's up, Kona, Hawaii? <laughs> right on, so this is the salon of the boat. Over here, this would be called the galley. And right now, we just got a big mess. We're putting together lures. Um, I grabbed a little bit of Everglades cactus dust, just so you know, uh, that's not just in my house, it's all over. Gonna throw some meat on the smoker. Here's a couple lures we'll be fishing. Hot breakfast, it's one of his little custom heads. This is the cockpit of the boat, that's fighting chair under there. Big fat shoulder roast. Oh yeah, look at that. Sweet. Big hunk of meat. Let it smoke for two hours. Whew, good. All right, you guys, check this out. Woo, look at that. Nice fat piece of meat just came off the smoker. That sucks. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Delicious. <laughs> Super is, good. Is it all right? Very good. Yeah, no. Got some portobellos here. Mm. Very, very good slice of thin. Mm. All right, you guys. It's uh, about 6.30 in the morning right now. We fished the past two days, caught a sailfish and a bunch of big mahi-mahis. But uh, this is the last day of fishing for us, and then tomorrow morning I'll be going home. So I just want to show you guys what I do. Got up, checked uh, checked the whole boat out, made sure nothing was gonna fly around, made sure my engines were in good shape, and now we've got about a 15, 18 mile run. We're gonna set out. I'll keep you posted.
right, so while we were there, although the bill fishing was not great, there were plenty of big my mines, dolphin. So I've got some fresh dolphin filet in my bag and we will certainly be cooking it up tonight for the family. Nothing like fresh fish. Here she is. Come on. Love you, sweetheart. All right, so I've got to get a big shout out to Engel. Engel made this little cooler bag, and it comes. You can see that this my. I checked this in today from Marsh Harbor. I put a like some kind of icy block in there earlier today and the fish has stayed ice cold and I have already driven out of the ranch and given Joey and the boys a bunch and I saved all this for us but the fish has stayed ice cold so I typically don't give like blaring sales pitches but this Engel backpack is really cool if you're going to the beach going to the games whatever that thing is cool now onto the fish this is the easiest way crust a fish or a piece of meat and not fry it. So what we'll do is we'll slice it that way, then we're gonna thin it out. We're basically butterflying it. Keeping it whole yet? Yeah, we just don't want it to be that thick when we are cooking it. All right, so you know me. When it's dark out and I'm hungry, I want to do things that are going to taste really good and be really easy. So check this out. This is all we're doing. We're going to sprinkle it with a little bit of Everglades fish and chicken. I actually just bought this at Publix. We haven't used fish and chicken in a I long time. I fish and chicken in a long time, but you don't want to over season it. Once it's seasoned like that, let's just go ahead, put a little bit of, just a little bit of mayonnaise and even if you don't like mayonnaise this works we're just gonna lube it up just like that and what this does is it just creates a nice beautiful um, lather I don't even know what the right word is and this is actually the fish that you saw us catch in the video I don't even know if I showed it because I haven't edited this yet. And then because it's got it's got a, a mayonnaise on it, it will be pretty much non-stick. So you can go ahead and just stack it in your pan, however it fits. Totally fill up the pan. You could do this with catfish. You could do this with tilapia. You could do it with no. any any kind of fish. You could do this with salmon. I'm not kidding you. So good. We're gonna throw it in the oven. It's at 400 degrees. We're gonna throw it in there for about nine minutes and we're gonna start our sweet potatoes in the bag for nine minutes. So we know the sweet potatoes and the fish are gonna be done about the same amount of time. Little baby Aria in our crib. What is that thing? This baby yeah. monitor. I know. Okay, so it's a baby monitor, and what all are you using? Like, is it the owlette thing? Oh, the owlette's on her foot. That's not this. Oh, I thought that told you everything. This is just a monitor to, to mm. view her. But she's still up. All right, so the nine minutes is up on the potatoes. I'm going to just let that rest for a few minutes, and now I'm going to broil these until they brown. Okay, so this is the important part. When you're cooking with uh, coconut or anything with a high sugar content and you're broiling, make sure you keep an eye on it because it will burn fast. I can guarantee it. I can already see it burning. Yes. Or not burning, but getting brown, I mean. Yeah, so. Okay. Okay. Ooh. Look how nice it is. Beauty. We're going to take some crumbled goat cheese. We're gonna take a few fresh raspberries right on top. Then we're gonna take some pine nuts, just like that. 
and we're gonna finish it off with a raspberry poppy seed vinaigrette. Look at that. I mean, how great is that? It only took literally like, oh, and they're perfect. This is um, Land the Lake cinnamon sugar butter. It's stinking awesome. Put it right in there. <laughs> Take a little piece of fish, not like this. Now, that right there is what I call Tasty Tuesday on Friday. <laughs> Lord, I thank you so much for this day, and I thank you for this food. And thank you for our wonderful family and all of our many blessings. Lord, thank you for a safe trip, and thank you for having the in-laws down. I pray that you give them safe passage home. Please nourish us through our body and forgive us of our sins. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 All right. And Ariel is up with prayer. Now let's see if everybody likes it. Oh, yeah. See, it looks, you know, Mama's not doing anything without that monitor right there. <laughs> Ooh, look at that. Mmm, that fish. That salad's very good too. Mmm, 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 mmm. Coconut's amazing. Mmm. Mm. Careful. What do you think? Fish is top notch. Very you good. guys are always asking if Sarah has a sister. There she is. <laughs> there she is. <laughs> That's the older sister, Kristen. <laughs> <laughs> this is very good crap. Yeah? Very good. Mm -hmm. Exceptional. What do you think, honey? Mm-hmm. It's so good. Yeah? It really is. It never gets old. And you guys saw how easy that was. We're talking 10 minutes for the potatoes and the fish, the salad, throw it together. You can get everything you see here at the grocery store very, very fast. We just had a message today asking if people, or asking if we get sick of eating fish. No. <laughs> Hashtag no, you filthy animal. No, capital no. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed the video this week. Um, it's not always easy being away, but if you're going to be away, Boat Harbor and Marsh Harbor is probably not the worst place in the world to be. But I'm happy to be home, and I'm glad to be putting a video. Tomorrow I'm going with my brother. We're going to be fishing for Goliath grouper, and I'm going to be spearing lionfish, and who knows what else we're going to be doing, but it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm going to try to get up three videos before I go back to the Bahamas this coming week. And subscribe now, leave a comment, and we gone. <laughs>